Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the eighth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about constraints. So we're going to understand what a constraint is and the several options that we have available uh, with SQL. So these are the constraints that we will be discussing in this course. So we'll be talking about the not null constraint and the default constraint, unique, primary key, foreign key and check. So we're going to talk about uh, the first four in this tutorial and the last two constraints, the foreign key and the check constraint, we're going to talk about later on in the course when we discuss uh, some fancy things such as joins and stuff, right? So let's uh, start with the not null constraint. So if, if you're creating a table in which uh, there's going to be a field that you want to have a value, uh, you know, for each and every row that's there in the table, then you would want to use a not null constraint with that particular field while creating the table. So what I mean is, uh, if you've got a table that's going to have three fields, let's say name and uh, ID and email address, and uh, if you would want uh, the ID field to have a value for each and every name in the table, then uh, or each and every row in the table, then you would want to use a not null constraint for it because if while populating the table using the insert statement in SQL, you would uh, you know miss giving the value. Uh, for the ID field for any row, then you would get an error message and the insert statement won't be processed, right? So that's the utility of the not null constraint and we'd be checking it out, uh, the syntax of it and everything while, you know, discussing the create table statement. The next constraint that we will be talking about is the default constraint. And uh, as the definition says, if while populating a table, you miss giving a column some value, the default value will be used. So when we we'll, uh, talk about the create table statement, we'll see that, you know, with the create table statement, you get an option of uh, specifying the default value for a particular field. And that's pretty handy because if uh, you're creating a table in which a field is going to get the same value for, let's say, 90% of the records, then it makes sense to, you know, specify that value in the create table statement itself because that's going to save a lot of time and, uh, you know, while inserting data in the table, or while populating it, you don't have to specify the default value uh, for that field, you know, uh, for each and every entry. The next constraint is the unique constraint and the unique constraint makes sure that all values entered for the field on which the constraint is applied are different. So it makes sense, I'm sure that, you know, if you want something to be unique, then you have to specify to SQL that, you know, you want that field to have a unique value. So what happens in case uh, you applied the unique constraint on a field and you try giving it duplicate values? Well, it's obvious you get error messages and, um, you know, th the data that you, uh, you know, enter for a field uh, once, you cannot enter the same data again if unique constraint is applied on it. If you try to do that, the insert statement won't be processed and, you know, you would just get error messages. And uh, the last constraint that we're going to talk about in this tutorial is the primary key constraint. And this is perhaps the most important constraint uh, available to us in SQL. And uh, it's a combination of not null and unique. So the primary key constraint makes sure that uh, you specify some value while uh, populating the table for the field on which the constraint is applied. And it also makes sure that the value that you've entered is different from all the other values that uh, exist for that field uh, you know, in the table before uh, you enter the latest value. So as the definition says, some value would have to be provided in each row and all the values entered must be different. So we're going to see all these constraints in action uh, later on in the course when we, you know, check out the create table statement, we're going to discuss the syntax. And then uh, also while uh, discussing the insert statement, we'll see, you know, how if we try to violate these constraints, uh, you know, SQL throws error messages at us and we are unable to, you know, populate tables. So. I hope you had fun watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next one and uh, thank you.